Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and coffee. And I have a 100 envelope challenge update for you. I figure I'll do this once a month. I'll save all my money that I get and then we'll stuff some envelopes in this little box here. Okay, these are the ones that are unstuffed. Obviously these have money in them. First off, I haven't drawn the winner yet, but I will put the username here. So congratulations, please reach out to me via email in the description box below so that I can get you, oh, that was Alex, so I can get your box for the 100 envelope challenge mailed out to you. Okay, so first things first, here's all my bills. I will tell you where the money comes from. Um, some of it I took out of my checking account, my secondary checking account that has my part-time job money in it. Some of it I took out to spend, and this is change that I have. Sometimes I get it if I sell something on Facebook Marketplace. Some of this is I'm cat-sitting my neighbor's cat, and she pays me, so it just comes from all over the place. And that's all the change change that I have. Now, I don't put the pennies in this jar. I have a separate jar. But I have this jar here, which is dusty, that I got. And we will put, I hope you can see. So I have $65. Oh, I guess I do have a penny in there. Well, $65.06. And now we have $65.26. So I just put my big... My coins in there, I have a separate jar for pennies. Now, let us see how much we have. I think I know, but we'll make sure. So we have two, four, six, eight, ten, two, four, six. So 160, I'm using my calculator. 10, 20, 30. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. I don't think you can see all the bills, but that's okay. They're up here in front of me. So we have $248 to stuff this month. Now, I did make a small plan. This is for my next time around. But my small plan, you can see this is I want to fill this row and this row, right? So then I will have all three of these done, and then we're gonna start building up, filling up here. But for right now, let's fill these. Um, so we got a $13 in here. Are you all doing your challenge? How's it going for you? It's not easy, I'll tell you that. Um, and being disciplined to save your money is hard as well. I will sort these later in there. Um, yeah, it's not easy by any stretch of the imagination, but it is very rewarding. So here's the 21. Now, I also have been putting a little extra in some of these, but I wanted to share with you a little tidbit for the higher envelopes. So it's hard. It's hard to fill these big ones up here, right? So let's say you, I have 245 today. I could fill my 92, my 91, whatever. But you can also then take these smaller ones and combine them together and put them in a big one and then fill these smaller ones again. So you can just keep going 1 to 20, take them out and fill them up. 1 to 20, fill them up. You know, whatever, 1 to 30, fill them up. And then go back. Because it's easier, obviously, to fill these little ones, which is kind of what I'm doing, is just filling them all. Um, next, oops, sorry. Next month, today I'm, we'll see what I put extra. But some of my larger ones have some extra money in it. Um, was that 22 or was that 23? That was 22. I just really want to get these three bottom rows done. I don't know why. I think I like doing things in order is kind of how I look at it. Now, what do I have for ones here? I only have two ones left. So we're gonna put a five, we'll just put 27 in this 24. My plan is to have more than the 5,050 and this is getting used for a vacation that I'm going on next year. 
and it's a little expensive vacation. I hope you can see what I'm doing here. It's a little expensive and I'm okay with that because I'm using side hustle money. You know, this is all side hustle. Now I will, I'm doing 25 now. I have, I'll tell you a little story while we do this. I bought a coffee maker. It's a Cuisinart and it is a brew, a brew uh, pot in a single cup brew. So it has a Keurig on one side. It's not a Keurig, but it has like for K cups on one side and it has a pot, um, here, I don't have a dollar bill, so I guess we're going to put 30 in this one. You see what I'm saying? Like, I'm just filling envelopes. It doesn't matter. Um, it has a big and it has a little pot. So I bought it in March of 22. So we're in what? February of 20. Let's do this one. February of 23. Four. The year ago so last year 25 where am i at 27 last year i um moved it on my counter to clean and it was rusting on the bottom and i was so mad about that whole situation that i called well, I emailed Cuisinart, which is Conair, by the way, in case anybody needs to know. So I emailed them and told them that it was rusting on my countertop. And they, I sent them some pictures and they were like, okay, whatever, send, we'll send you a new one. So they sent me a new one and I used it. And then about three weeks ago, same thing. I'm cleaning my counter and it, um, there's rust again on the bottom of this coffee maker. I'm like, what is going on? So I sent another email and he's like, well, this time we need to send it over to this customer, whatever place. And they had me mail it into them. I'm like, fine. So I mailed it in, but I'm like, so that means I have to get, oops, so I'm short. I only have $20, which is fine. I'll hold off and filling that last one. I'll put this back in here. Um, I have two couple $2 bills in here, but I will put this 20 until I get enough. And this is how I do it for next month to fill that $30. Um, and that, that's it. Now I'm done with those, almost done with these three rows. I'll fill it this week. And then I'm going to start, maybe I'll start up here and work my way down. Who knows? Anyway, coffee maker. So I sent it in. Well, I had said to the lady, well, that means I have to go buy a coffee maker, right? To have coffee, right? And she's, ooh. She was like, oh, yeah, if you're a coffee drinker. Of course I'm a coffee drinker. I've just told you, you know, whatever. So she was really rude, irrelevant. So I um, went out and bought a Ninja dual pot because I'm like well I need a coffee maker and I'm not gonna not have a coffee maker so I sent it back to them in <laughs> in the ninja coffee maker box because I'm like I don't have a box I'm putting these in numerical order in case you were wondering there we go so that's every, all my money's right there I'm like I, so I didn't have a box to ship it back so I wrapped it up and I sent it back in the cure into the ninja box that I had purchased and didn't hear any, didn't hear anything, didn't hear anything. And I emailed last week or so. And I was like, um, have you received it? I get a single response. Yes. Okay, thanks. So they received it. That's fantastic. Um, so, that I did, so it must have been three weeks ago because last week I didn't hear anything. So I emailed yesterday and they got it this morning. And I was like, I'm just checking up on my coffee maker. When was mailed to you? Okay, so they're mailing me a new coffee maker. Fantastic. I already have a brand new coffee maker, so my plan is to sell this one. The one that comes in the mail that's unopened. I'm like, well, I don't need a second coffee maker, but they've already mailed it. So I'm going to put it on Facebook Marketplace, sell it for a fraction of the cost of it new, and that money will go into this envelope for next stuffing, period because we want to get this thing full. Oh, I'll show you. So this is what I have left. This is the visuals. I am nowhere near being done. There is a lot of envelopes still in here and some of the big ones. 
Oh, wait. These two are blank in case I wanted to put anything extra. So I still have 90s, all those, all the 80s. So I got the big ones. But um, I will have a decent stuffing the next month because I worked a fair amount at my part-time job. And I'm going to get a decent check in two weeks. And I want to pull out a bulk of that and put it in here for savings. It's just a, for savings. I mean, it's obviously still my money. And I will use it for vacation. But that, and that's what that job is for. I work my part-time job really for travel and for vacation. Because I think it's fun. And it's definitely, oh, my Canada, my Canada shopping list. It's, um yeah, so I work the the... Schottenstein Center for the Ohio State University, and I worked 32 hours in the last pay period, which was a lot, but I knew I was putting in that many hours so I could put the money in here. So that'll that'll boost me significantly to be able to put my envelopes. And quite frankly, I'm debating if I don't want to come in here. I know for sure in this $100 envelope... There's $150. You know what I should do? Oh, I'm so smart. You guys are make me smart. I'll put 100 in whatever this was, 120 in the $100 envelope, right? Right? And then I can fill that $30 envelope and be done with that row. Yes. And I will put a 50 in the 30. Right? How exciting. Is that it? 29 and 30. Okay. And then we'll fill in this. And now that row. Oops. Let me move that out of the way. Now this row is complete. With a little extra still. So the trip I'm planning is a Mediterranean cruise with my family, hopefully, in 2025. There. So that's going to be expensive, but that's fine because I'm saving for it. Um, yeah, unless some emergency happens and I need to dip into these funds, then that is fine as well because that's what, you know, it's here for. But that is everything that I stuffed this month. Next month, come back. We'll do it again. Like I said, make sure you check the screen for the winner of the box that I'm going to mail out for your very own 100 envelope challenge. And as soon as I hear from that person, I will get it out in the mail. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you're enjoying these Monday kind of budgeting videos that I've been doing. I thought it was a, a fun way to roll and get some ideas flowing. Um, tonight's video is one of my favorites. It You will have see it tonight. So today is, for you, it's last Monday. It's the 20, what's today? The 26th that I'm filming this, but it'll go up next Monday. Um, is the bougie coffee on a budget, my favorite. So go back and watch it if you haven't. All right, guys, well, that is everything. Oh, and this jar here, sorry, when this is full, I mean, we're not even a quarter of the way. When this is full, I will cash it in, but not until then. And I got this at a discount store for like $5, and it just keeps track when you put your money in here. It keeps track. Yeah. So I hope you enjoy, and I will talk with you later.